what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, delivered a speech on Friday honoring the 50th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. How ironic is that? You have a guy who does not give a damn about freedom honoring a freedom fighter. That's how politics work, y'all. Now, he made this speech one day after calling Haiti and African nations shitholes. Add that up. This was said during a meeting with lawmakers and media outlets, including the Washington Post, picked it up. They heard it themselves. Of course, he went on Twitter the next morning, lying, talking about he never said it like he normally do. If he would say the fraction of things that he said so far, you got to give everybody else the benefit of the doubt who says that he actually said that. You got to give him the benefit of the doubt because Trump is a compulsive. He's, in fact, he's a pathological liar. Lies about everything. Not even sure that his name is Trump. In fact, his, his parents were immigrants. So that ain't really his name. You got to watch these people, man. Donald Trump a crumb. Now, the, the, these comments that he made, you know, and, and these comments that he normally make, I have to let y'all know that these are nothing but residual remarks from the old South. That's all it is. This dude is who he is, man. He can't change. Anytime he says this, these things, what happens is that he's used to talking like this, right? He's used to saying anything he wants to say and get away with it. He's always had access his whole life. He's always had money and money makes things move. And so he's been, he's been buffered by his money for so many years. So many things that happened in his life, money saved him. He's He's done so much wrong, committed so many crimes. His kids too. And their money saved them. So he's not used to being like in a dignified space and being the person who's supposed to uphold dignity. Now, he may be used to going to nice parties, big events and all of that type of stuff, but not as the person who's supposed to have class and supposed to be the standard for class and dignity. He's not that type of dude. He is the trash that blew in off the street and ended up at the party like, whoa, I'm up in here. Whoa, yeah, don't know how to act. That's why if you watched that video closely when he first met Obama in the White House, when they, he was about to transition, he has this look on his face like he was stunned. Like, what the hell have I gotten myself into? That's the look he had on his face. And the whole time he tried to run the game on Obama like Obama was, like playing Obama like he was a little kid or something that didn't know what he was doing, like he was in over his head. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm not a major Obama advocate. I'm not that dude. But I'm just speaking the truth. Man, anything better than Trump. I'm going to tell you, just, just like straight up, anything, anybody. Man, a goddamn drunk on the street is better than uh, Trump. Find me a damn wino off the street, man. We can at least clean him up and talk to him. And he's coachable. At least he's coachable. This dude is uncoachable, and he don't know nothing. So his ass is out just in the White House winging it. The sad and discouraging thing about all of this is that when Donald Trump makes these type of comments, these 
racially divided comments, it emboldens his base. See, they already think like that, his base. They think like this anyway. They're already racist. They already think that they're better just because they have a certain skin complexion, right? So when he says these things, it makes them think that the way they think and the way they act and the way they talk is cool. Because, hey man, if it's good enough for the president of the United States of America, it's gotta be good enough for me. Being a racist ain't all that bad. The president is one. Talking down on people ain't all that bad. The president does it. Calling people names like you're on the playground in elementary school can't be all that bad. The president does it. Lying, stealing, and cheating can't be all that bad. The president does it. Committing sexually, sexual assault against women can't be that bad. The president does it. Do y'all find it strange how we have that dichotomy of <laughs> women being raped and coming forward and so many men going down, but at the same time, so many people getting off the hook over rape allegations. So many people like they go in and they they go to trial or whatever, they go to court and they get a slap on the wrist. Why y'all think that is? See, leadership starts at the top. The president sets the tone. And so he set the tone when he was talking, saying those things about women. And also those women came forward with those allegations of rape, that he raped them. And these people voted for him anyway. They voted for him anyway. What they're saying is that Look, rape is just one of those things that, that happens. This is what we do. We'll, we'll rape culture. You know, we rape the, 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 the natives. I mean, we rape everything. We rape, rape, rape. That's what we do. We rape. So we just, it's just something that we deal with. But our main thing is maintaining control, man. It's maintaining dominance. That's our thing. Like, and if some children get violated, you know, people lose their lives and things like that. Well, we ain't tripping on that too much, man. You got to get this money. I would gladly trade. He, he, this is what he said. He said that he didn't want those other nations, those type of nations coming to America, those type of people from those nations coming to America. He'd rather have people like Norway, people from Norway come to America. Like Norwegians would really want to come to America, it ain't like they're not thinking to themselves that America is a shithole with this current administration. I can't see any, I can't see anybody from Norway wanting to come over here. I've been to Norway, real nice place. Very respectful place too. Nothing like America. Trump called Haiti and African nations shitholes, then got on Twitter and denied it. A liar line by line. The Trump chumps will have you believe that they like Trump because he tells it like it is. If that's the case, why is he denying it? You can't have it both ways. You know what perfect retribution would be? If all of those Mar-a-Lago employees would give him a middle finger salute and quit at the height of tourist season. Trump, I got a message from Haiti and all of the African nations. It's better to be a shithole country than an actual shithole. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn.